A former Saipan resident has made a clean start of sorts. He's on Bali and his business message is eat, pray and wash. Chris Nelson takes a look inside Bali Soap. There's uh, a lot of diversity here, people from all over the world. And um, it's a little bit more kind of wild west sometimes, you know, not as many like in the States, there's a lot more rules and regulations. But at the same time, there's also a lot of, you know, people trying to get some money from you here and there. So I'm just kind of got to keep your eyes open. Mike Walsh is now in the soap business on the island of Bali. The former legislative assistant for Senator Paul Manglonia has quickly been growing the business. We kind of started there small. We had like four or five employees, and that was like seven or almost eight years ago. And then um, just kind of slowly grown. Now we have like 45 employees. It's going okay. Caustic soda gets mixed with water here, and then the oil and flavoring is added. The soap goes into a mold, and out comes large blocks like this. After you cut the soap, the soap has to stay in here for uh, two weeks. That's kind of the curing process. After drying, the bars are trimmed and then wrapped and labeled. Walsh says the business is a little bit different than they expected. We started off, we thought we'd sell more um, you know, export and um, do a lot of wholesale to distributors. And then it turns out with the name Bali Soap, we uh, sell a lot more locally to the, like the gift market. And we sell to a lot of uh, like kind of boutique hotels and villas. And then we also do a lot of private labels. But we also export a lot to Europe and Asia and pretty much everywhere. And that includes our area. On the factory floor, we find both Mariana soap and Palau soap, which means that local soap purchasers are not only getting washed, they are getting washed. Chris Nelson for the Channel 2 News.